Hey guys, what's going on? It's Evan and I just recorded this entire video and then looked over it and said I rambled way too much so I'm gonna try and keep this as simple as possible, redo the whole thing in with as little cuts as possible so you're gonna be hearing a lot of ums and a lot of stuttering and a lot of <clears throat> We are talking about my newest semester in school and all the stuff that I did this semester um, which is a continuation of a video that I did at the beginning of this year talking about my previous semester and I wanted to kind of start archiving how I'm doing in school so here goes that. The first thing I want to do is go back to last semester just for a second to kind of reflect on how that stuff has influenced some of the stuff that I've done you know, following that, you know, before this semester started, but you know, in between both semesters, you, you get the idea. My production one class had a way bigger influence on the way that I do stuff than I actually realized or considered. Uh, stuff like my character limit short film and syncing both were heavily influenced by, you know, my production one class because both of those shorts have kind of a pushback on expositional storytelling and are more about the visual stuff. I mean, especially character limit. Character limit is exclusively about visual versus expositional storytelling. Like, that's what it's about, if you guys didn't know that. That's literally what the- that's why the video exists. Sinking is, again, a visual story and- but it, you know, it has some exposition in it and it's mostly a visual story and a lot of the stuff in both of these videos, a lot of the ways that I made every single shot motivated and everything like that, I owe entirely to Production One. Production One taught me about the merits of functional film form, like actually using the camera effectively to tell a story and only showing things that are necessary and not just shooting things to shoot it or for coverage or for stuff like that. Production one helped a lot in a basic sense. Now if you remember last semester I said that production one was one of the hardest classes I've ever taken. Well this semester decided to backhand me with like, you know, what the f well, what do you know? Like, here, here's some hard sh This semester, I took directing workshop and screenwriting too, and holy sh These classes together were the only two classes that I took this entire semester, and I have never been more stressed than I have been in any other previous semester, including ones where I've taken up to four or five classes. The workload in these classes is demanding in a way that is absolutely good. It's a very positive thing that these classes were so hands-on and, ex you know, had high expectations and stuff like that. I'm happy that they exist the way that they do. I'm going to talk about Screenwriting 2 first because there's actually surprisingly less to talk about here. Uh, screenwriting 2 is generally like a really difficult class in the sense that I was doing drafts pretty much weekly that would take hours to write and rewrite because my professor's notes and my professor's expectations were ridiculously huge, again, in a good way. It was a challenging class and you know what, it kind of got me thinking once again about, you know, what's challenging versus what I want and, you know, kind of how to balance that stuff because, yeah, doing stuff that you want to do is important and especially when it comes to art or else what's the point, but I think that there's something to say about form and if the class exists to teach me about form, I should probably just stop complaining and learn about form and make something based on form. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun, but that's the point. That's school. That, we're going to school for this. Screenwriting 2 was really good. I'm really happy that I got to work with really talented people that constantly gave me notes on my stuff. It wasn't just the professor this time. A lot of the times we were put into groups. Uh, we would write beat sheets for a short film, a script for a short film, and then we would end the semester with a beat sheet for a feature. Uh, and that was probably the hardest one. I actually, towards the end of the semester, took about 12 hours, um, between 8 and 12 hours, almost each time I would rewrite both the first and second acts of the sh of the feature just so I could, like, get my story as close to what I wanted to be as possible while also adhering to the formal notes that the professor and my classmates gave me. So there was a lot there, and you know what, it's really interesting and it's really exciting to do. It definitely gets super fatiguing and almost kind of discouraging to have to change your idea for your script, um, whereas some people in my class would change their scripts to a point where like they were nothing like they were to start with, and that can be a little discouraging because it's like, oh, this isn't the story I wrote, but also you end up with a better story, like generally. You know, yeah, some things just don't work, and that's okay. I think that it's okay to kind of learn that some things can be better than what we originally had ideas for, and eventually we'll settle on something that will be better received and is formally and structurally just a better thing. And 
you know, it's a trade-off and you have to decide if that's worth it to you, I guess. Okay, so that's screenwriting too, really quick and simple. Directing workshop was anything but that. I mentioned how production one was really difficult, but now I realize that all production one really teaches you is the framework, the basics, why we do this stuff, you know, why shots need to be motivated and why visual metaphors are important and why visual ideas are important. So that when we get to directing workshop, we can go, okay, so we're gonna apply all these whys to the actual act of being on set, working with people, doing different jobs, and kind of just figuring shit out together. Because there's no time on a set to kind of be like, you know, I feel like this shot should be like No, there is a director of photography who days ago has already drawn up the shot list with all this stuff in mind, and is already working on this stuff with the director, with everybody on set, with the actors, to make the thing that you want to make. And this might be like a duh, no thing to some people, but like, this is all blowing my mind as the semesters are going on that it's like we're learning one piece and then we're learning the next piece and everything is starting to come together. Directing Workshop was just a series of projects that I would work on with different classmates and stuff and we would all collaborate to do different jobs at different points depending on whose project it was. We would start simple, we would do small scenes where we would just, you know, we, we knew what the actions were going to be and the whole point of the, that exercise was that we would learn how to block actors and how to not break the 180 degree rule and all this stuff. Like we would just, we would be able to set everything up and learn everything accordingly. Just, you know, basic structure when it comes to directing. Then it started to get a little more challenging. So the next project that we did was a music video project and I was actually director of photography for that. I was actually director of photography for most of these. I don't know what it is. I just, I like drawing shot lists and I like planning out the stuff. I don't actually like the physical directing stuff all the time. I would rather ask a director what they want to see once I've drawn up the shot list for them and they like, you know, they're like, oh, cool, okay, this this works. So yeah, I DP for that music video thing, which we shot in 50 minutes and it rained and it was a crazy shoot. Not all of the people that were supposed to make it could make it. There was just a hundred million factors and it was just a big, awful mess. But it was also like, really smooth surprisingly like we did shoot everything we need to in the 15 minutes before it started raining and we got everything done that we needed to and i kind of took over as director for that a little bit as i was dp'ing because we had so little time because we knew it was going to rain uh and no that that shoot taught me a lot you know it, it taught me that there was just a whole lot of stuff that you have to keep in mind a lot of factors and stuff and despite everything we got done what we needed to which is Pretty sick. Then after that, we did one of the bigger projects of the semester, which was doing a, uh, you know, a script reinterpretation of a script that was in the textbook called A Piece of Apple Pie. And it's apparently some really famous scene in that book that's constantly referred to when talking about stuff like blocking actors. And I got to act in it, which was cool. Um, I like acting and stuff. It's, it's, it's fun to just be in front of the camera. Uh, sometimes because I wasn't directing that one again. It was directed by another classmate and we went into we shot it in school uh, It was part of an in-class exercise So we all went to different rooms like in different groups and we all filmed the scene together in different instances and I edited it because I actually I edited a bunch of these I edit most of the stuff in here editing is my favorite thing now I'm sure of it now. So yeah, Piece of Apple Pie was a lot of fun to do. It was really fun to do the acting stuff. It was fun to learn like, you know, how to change up your motivation and stuff and to understand like what makes your character the way they are because I'm not much of an acting person. So, you know, a lot of the acting stuff I do is me having taught myself how to act, but not really realizing that there's more I could do with a character. And so I got to do something interesting this time around in terms of acting and understand that I'm not just angry, I'm scared too, and it's just stuff like that. It's cool. I think it's interesting. I want that pie. I can't. Don't make me shoot. Oh, a pie? I'm gonna count to five. One, two. It's stupid. It's stupider to die over a piece of pie. Four! Oh, okay, okay, it's yours. So that was a piece of apple pie, and then after a piece of apple pie kind of came the slow burn to the finals stuff. You know, working on other people's finals, working on my final. Uh, I worked on one classmate's final, and it was the smoothest production I've ever been a part of, and it was amazing. I unfortunately wasn't there for half of it because I had class during the first half of the shoot, but for the second half it was just the smoothest thing ever. It was also a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with these people. We, we had food. We, you know, we knocked out the second half 
that I was there for with, you know, a whole lot of ease. We got to use a big camera, which was pretty cool. And I love that thing. And I got to learn a little bit about sound because I don't know anything about sound still, which is cool. And since I edited uh, this friend's final, because again, editing everything, uh, I got to edit professional sound, which was also kind of interesting to look at. And it sounds so good. I never realized, because I'm always here filming with a camera like this and using this camera's whatever crappy mic, uh, how good crispy sound actually sounds. Did I just use the phrase crispy sound? And then came my final, which uh, I just to tell you guys what the final is, you can either do an original scene or you can do a scene interpretation from a movie that you like. So of course I chose the latter because I'm used to doing original-ish stuff. So I did a scene from A Nightmare on Elm Street because of course I did. I decided to do the don't fall asleep scene, which is one of my favorite scenes ever in history. And I'm so happy that I got to do it. I got my friend Sally who played Rachel in Sinking to be Nancy in this one. And I got my friend Josue who played Dominic Reyes and Stan Frederick to play Glenn in the scene. and. They are both amazing, and I really had a lot of fun shooting it. It was it was really easy, and it was really straightforward, and I'm happy that I got to do it with these people because they're very, you know, they're very professional people, and we got done what we needed to at a really quick pace. Generally, I love this class a lot. It felt like the most hands-on thing, and now I feel 10 times more confident being on a set with people despite whatever difference between professional experiences. I, I know where things go in the most general sense and how to do things in the most general sense. And that's more than I could say six months ago. So that's amazing to me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This take was way better than the last one. I'm so happy I was way more concise in this one. There's gonna be way less of an editing stress with this new version. But yeah, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. Uh, you can support me on Patreon if you like. If, if you don't know this, you can set monthly maxes, so you don't necessarily have to give me a certain amount for every video. You could stop after a certain amount of videos if you don't wanna pay more than a certain amount of money, which I know might be a problem for some, like a thing some people might've been worried about. If you wanna do that, you can do that. Uh, if you can't support me on Patreon, then just continue watching my stuff and sharing it because I appreciate that just as much. But yeah, thanks for listening to me talk for a good amount of time about how school's going. I'm making some quality content right now. But yeah, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.